Hello, it's Lisa Jones, Millionaire Medium, and I have a fantastic, wonderful new surprise today. I am here with Golden Duffy, and Yay! we are starting a whole new extravaganza all about divine guide dialogues, and we're super excited. And so, hey, Golden, how are you? I am so good. I'm so excited about this. This is a, just an awesome idea, and I can't wait to share all of our wisdoms and our spiritual guidance that we've been, we, Lisa and I have been connected for a while. And it was really interesting because we both moved on the same day out of Connecticut. And we got That's together right. before we left and we had this incredibly spiritual time together. And then we've really supported each other through this journey. I mean, I don't know what I would have done without you from, from just, <laughs> well, and this, losing the same with mind. me. Right? <laughs> <laughs> exactly. Exactly. Yeah, we wow. both have done some really crazy stuff and we've been there for each other, which is really just amazing. So this was yeah. this is this is gonna be really fun. We're excited to share with you guys all of the things that we read and all of the things that we've learned and and just the spiritual wisdom that's running through both of us that feels very aligned. I think that's it, what I yes. love about working with you is we just we're so aligned. Absolutely, absolutely. And that's what we were talking about. I was just visiting Golden in her home in California. And we just, we couldn't get over all the synchronicities that we've experienced through our study and our, our readings. And I mean, I've got chills as we're like constantly um, like, me too, me yeah, too. <laughs> exactly. And just how much we have and want to share with people that are on their journeys of spiritual divine wisdom. And, <clears throat> and so we just thought, wouldn't it be fun to start just doing some lives and, and then we're, we're going to be doing a podcast, which we're super ah! excited about. Woo! Yeah. And um, we just had Heather join us. Thanks, Heather, Yay, for being Heather. here. So Fantastic. cool. So, so yeah. So we have a great little. Why don't you share what you put together? Kind of what our what we're talking about today, and then we can jump in. Yeah. So we are. Um, well, we're interested in interviewing people actually, just to keep the conversation going, because this is divine dialogue. So we're going to invite some people in. There's going to be different subjects and things that are of interest and in going on in our lives. Really, I think what our goal here is to um, to facilitate and to help you guys with your expansion. Because Lisa and I know that we're both on a very fast track. Mm -hmm. So if we can help other people to um, promote their evolution and to create expansion, then that's kind of where we're at. So on Mondays, we really thought it would be a great idea to do, and this idea came to me just a few weeks ago, Manifestation Mondays. So whoever, whatever guests we have on on Mondays, we're going to share manifestation stories. And what we realized was, you know, I thought it would be great to share little manifestation stories, like small things that happen to you and then a, and then a big thing. Mm -hmm. But the reality is everything comes from the same energy it's the way that we believe in things. So we look at things and we say, that was a big manifestation, but it's the same energy. We just have more resistance and more energy around it. So it's helping people to realize that they can manifest things um, that are small and big with the same type of power and the same type of energy, but it's just a matter of how you're thinking and what you're believing. So I think we can, we're going to dig deep into people's belief systems yeah. and help them to, you know, cause even you and I, when we get together, we talk about things and I'll realize things about myself and go, oh my gosh, I had that wrong because I'm so close to it sometimes, right? That's right. Oh yeah. Right? Even though we teach this stuff and we live it, sometimes we're too close to our situation. So we may have epiphanies on these calls too that people can uh, walk through with us. Absolutely. Absolutely. And I totally agree with you. I remember one time somebody saying that, you know, the difference between even a dollar or even 10 cents and, you know, a hundred dollars or a million dollars are a bunch of zeros, which is nothing. Right. I mean, so uh, yeah, right. So that's a big <laughs> epiphany. Like, wait, it's, it's a one with, you know, however many zeros behind it. And I think we yeah. just get so caught up because we have these limiting beliefs about the difference between a dollar and a million dollars. And, and again, it's not all about money either. This whole manifestation, right. it's about, you know, love, bringing love into your life or bringing a home into your life or, you know, even again, the small things, parking spots or, um, you know, just, just an experience or the rain, you know, moving away, like the weather, just suddenly clearing up things like that. So yeah, there's, there's so, so much energy and being able to tap into it. And that's what, that's what we want to talk about on these manifestation Mondays. Right. And I think that's also just changing people's mindset about what is abundance. You know, yes. is it just money or is it 
really having an abundant life where you feel lots of joy and you know do you need millions of dollars to feel right. abundant because if you do then you're not going to get to that abundance because it's about upping your vibration in your entire life so that because money is an energy and yeah. it reflects how you're feeling so it's going to be helping people to shift that as well and you know all of their money belief systems and all that i think we, we'll do a great um podcast on that we'll probably yeah. do many podcasts on that because that's a yeah. big one Absolutely. And again, and that's a lot of what I talk about too, you know, being the millionaire medium, I work with so many people that have millions and millions of dollars and they're miserable. And so yeah. it's not about having lots of money. It's about, you know, it's about your mindset. It's about where your heart is. It's about, um, you know, how what you're, you're doing, in. Yeah. right? How much you're letting, letting in. And about yeah. circulation. That's part of it. A lot of people that get money, then they just hoard it because they're afraid to lose it. And, and that's what stops the flow. So there's yeah. this whole, you know, again, I just keep getting chills on that. Ah! You're saying everything <laughs> I'm saying, and, which again, for me, when I get chills, that's divine energy flowing through me saying, yes, truth, yeah. truth, truth. So yeah. So those of you that are new to Lisa and I, we both have some divine guidance going on. Lisa is really amazing and she can channel. Will you say what you do and then I'll kind of yeah. share what happens well, I, with me. So, so I channel um, angels, divine guidance. Um, I, I channel these beings of love and light and passed away loved ones. And um, again, I'm a former CPA, Price Waterhouse, Ernst and Young, and I just never knew this. I, I I did not, as a little girl, think I want to grow up and be a psychic medium. This is not at all <laughs> where I thought I'd be in my not life. Plan. <laughs> yeah, not not exactly on the plan, but I just can't exactly. stop doing this work because I find it so helpful. And again, the fact that I'm, you know, a, C, a former CPA and now doing the spiritual work. I'm just here to prove that anybody can do this work. It's not, you don't have to have, you know, I don't know, a turban on or long, you know, you don't need like, a, a, <laughs> what is that, a crystal ball and long fingernails long and weird hair, hair, which, which again, if, if that's oh you, God. great, that's fantastic. But I, I mean, to me, I feel like I've been given this opportunity to really show people that just every day people can tap in and be turned on and have all this amazing stuff happen so that's so cool and that brings me to my woo woo doo doo oh. <laughs> I love that woo woo doo doo what is that so that was when um I I was I was I was in a session with a client and he was saying how great it was that I was making him feel so comfortable about this spiritual stuff. Right. And I was like, you know what, Lisa and I have a gift for mainstreaming this and yes, for helping people to realize that this is normal, that this energy that comes through us is completely normal and acceptable. And right. we're not ashamed of it. You know, we've both embraced our gifts. Yeah. We're both mm -hmm. in full acceptance of this power that we have and we want to share it with people. And the woo-woo doo-doo came up because, you know, there's just people that get, they, they kind of leave the earth, but they're still here. And right. they make people really uncomfortable mm. with the spiritual stuff because they're so far out there that people can't relate. Yeah. And they yeah. can't connect. So yeah. I think for us, we mainstream it and help people to connect to this energy that is in all of us. Absolutely. You know, we're all an expression of this divine energy. And Lisa and I like to refer to it as divine energy just because, you know, we both are, you know, firm believers in God, but just just the the name of God has a lot of connotations with it. Absolutely. So we both like to take it to divine energy so that we can bring people to a new place where they realize that we are all one, we're all part of this energy. It's all being expressed through us. And that makes us powerful, like beyond measure. Right. So right. Right. The woo woo doo doo. You know, we might refer to that from time to time. I love that. I thought it was the woo woo hairdo. No. <laughs> Because it is like psychic psychics have been, they're crazy. They're weird. Yeah, they are. And that was, I'm like, oh my God, I don't want to be one of those crazy psychic people. Yeah. And, um, you so know, we're normalizing the way. Right. And, and again, and, and it all goes back to these belief systems that are just to me, that keeps us from our divine guidance because we were told as children, you know, not to believe in. Yeah, I, I don't know. We just have all these belief systems that we're just kind of crammed down our throats as young children. And when you're little, before age like six or seven, anything you're told just goes into your subconscious and it gets shut down in there. And that yep. just becomes your running, you yeah. know, like that's that's your script for the rest of your life. So again, Golden and I have done a ton of work on really releasing these subconscious beliefs that have kept, you know, a lot of people yeah 
distant from their divine guidance. So now we're in a place that we just want to help people connect and, ah, and so, uh, yeah, and get yeah. into it. So, but tell again, what do you do to t talk about like um, kind of what you do well, session wise? You I did not sign up. For this. <laughs> I mean, at some some level of my life, I guess I signed up for it. But you know, I was a stay at home mom for twenty years, and then. Um, started really studying the law of attraction and I got really into quantum physics and was realizing that, you know, I was doing my own work as I was going along and working with energy healers and didn't, you know, I kept giving my clients to energy healers because I thought that I didn't have the power to do it. And then when I moved from Connecticut to California, I tapped into this ability and this gift by just helping people get into a meditative state. And once I did that, I realized that there is this, this power and this expression that comes through me where I'm able to, and people will say, I don't even know how you knew this stuff. And, you know, it's not me. It's literally right. like, I don't even have thoughts <laughs> about this stuff. It's words come out of my mouth. And I know because they're not my words. They're not words right. that I would normally use. They're, they're literally tailored for you. Mm -hmm. So, you know, I have a connection with non-physical. I have a connection with pure consciousness that just comes through me and I'm able to move energy. I think that's one thing that makes me kind of special is I can help people move energy out of their chakra systems and release these old belief systems that were foundational and come right. to experiences that really created this for people mm -hmm. and, um, and then set new intentions, new belief systems that are of a higher vibration that are actually what you want to create in your life. So it is the most fascinating work. I I'm so God, I'm so blessed to be able to do this with people. It just, it's so rewarding and to see people progress and believe in themselves and create the power that, um, you know, they can just manifest in their lives is, uh, I, I just feel so blessed to be able to do it. Yeah. It's fantastic. And, and again, yeah. I'm just going to test her, her abilities are amazing and transformational. So yeah. again, we're, yeah. I just, I feel so blessed to have Golden as such a dear friend. I mean, we're definitely soul <laughs> sisters and, um, and here we are saving the yeah. world. <laughs> <laughs> one so, podcast at a time. That's yeah. right. One podcast at a time. And this is our kickoffs. Yeah. So thank you everyone for being here. And, um, and Heather says again, it's beautiful Yay. work. Yes. Thank yeah. you. Heather thank you. My thank amazing you. clients who's done oh. so, so much work. She's on a fast, fast path. So thank that you. Is being here. That is great. That is great. Well, let's get to manifestation. Yeah! And, wow. Like, how does this work? What's, you know, what are, um, so, so what do you think? Tell us a small manifestation that you've done or, how, or what do you think? So, well, I just had a funny thing happen the other day that I thought I would share. I have a million, a million billion manifestation stories. I, so much stuff has happened to us in our life that it is just so fun to share I should have, I should write a book on all the manifestations, honestly, but just a small thing happened the other night. We went out to see Wonder Woman, which was fantastic. Can't say enough about this movie. It really, it, the message in it is incredible. It's, it's what everybody needs to know. Honestly, I've heard such great comments about that movie. That's, it was that's on my so bucket list. <laughs> oh, it was, the acting was amazing. It was funny. So my husband and my daughter, um, we went out to at nine o'clock because all the other movies were sold out. And um, luckily, I've become alcohol free. I'm doing a 90 day challenge. Thanks to Lisa. Yeah, for and I've been hiring. alcohol free since January 1st, which has yeah. just blown. It's just been the most amazing experience to be so clear. And that's a whole nother podcast. Yeah, it is. We're going to do it because it's an expansive journey. And, um, you know, I love alcohol. I'm not going to say anything bad about it. But yeah, maybe, me too. Maybe me too. once I have another. Yeah, no, but it's good. So, um, so I was awake, which was cool because normally I would be falling asleep at nine o'clock after having, you know, a glass of wine with dinner. So we went to this nine o'clock movie, we walk in and there's no seats together. And you know, when you go see a movie with your family, like oh, you yeah. want to sit together, it's Absolutely. an experience. Right. And I just kind of let it go. Like no big deal, whatever. I'll sit behind you guys. I don't care. I was kind of sad to be away from the popcorn, but you know, I figured yeah. they would, they would pass it back to right. me. <laughs> So all of a sudden I notice that there's two people and there's a seat and then there's a girl in another seat. So I'm like, oh, if they could shift down, we'd have three seats together. Mm -hmm. So I walked up to this really nice couple and they were like, oh, her boyfriend's coming. So that wouldn't work. And I was like, oh, okay. All right. So we walk out into the aisle and we're just standing there looking around like, what could we do? And we realize that there's two seats and one in front. So I'm like, oh, I'll just sit in front of you guys. It's fine. 
And yeah. all of a sudden, a seat popped out of nowhere in this line. And the people were like, oh, and they shifted down and three seats appeared. It was weird. <laughs> I literally could just feel like divine guidance coming in and just like separate, like parting the seas, you know? Right, right. So it was a little manifestation, but I mean, I snuggled with my daughter the whole movie and it was Aww. just, it was, it was great. It was really, truly, it was a beautiful moment. And I was like, oh, I'm going to share that little tiny manifestation because it was pretty, pretty fantastic. I didn't get upset. I mean, I think that's what happens when we're, when we're in situations like that, we could get really annoyed because there was only seats in the front and I cannot sit in the front. I don't know who can sit in the front. It's yeah. like, I don't know why they have seats so close in the front. Exactly. It's, nobody wants to sit there. Nobody, nobody wants to pay $15 no. and have you and be there. like, <laughs> yeah. exactly. So, uh, so wow, I didn't get upset great. and I kind of let it go. And I think that is the energy of manifestation is when you're not in the resistance to it it allows the energy to move faster and things to just clear up so that your life does become ease and flow. Right. And that's, right. that's a message that I really, really want to help people get across. Like life is supposed to be easy and it's supposed yes. to be fun yes. and it's not yes. supposed to be filled with stress and just paying bills. And so this is about coming more into your joy and believing that things always work out for you. And so right. they do. Yeah, yeah. I love that. And I, I think the yeah, biggest, the biggest, um, kernel in there. I mean, it's it, the whole thing is huge, but one of it, it's about surrender. I, because again, had you asked them to move and then be angry that yes. they said no, or be annoyed, or, you know, you, you go into those. And again, we're going to talk about all sorts of books and, and all sorts of resources, but one of yeah. them is power versus force wow. uh, by David Hawkins, who talks about the different levels and it's really vibrational levels. I mean, he doesn't call them that. I forget what he calls them, but but it's all about, you know, when you're down in the lower part, and it's also totally related to your chakras. Again, this it just keeps yes. it just keeps it's unfolding like and unfolding. Yeah. Um, but when you're down in that, you know, like anger and grief and shame and guilt and all that stuff, yeah. then that's what you're going to attract to you. When so like exactly. if you've been angry about that situation, then what you would have attracted was just more of that. Like you would have asked somebody else and they wouldn't move. And, you know, because once you put that energy out there, it just, whatever you're putting out just comes right back to you. It's just, it's really beautiful when you start just realizing that, that it's, yeah. that it's, ju ju it's just a reflection to you. Yep. And so the fact yeah. that you asked and they were so sweet and they said no, and, and then you just released it and, and, um, you know, surrendered, and then suddenly, psh, universe just completely readjusted everything. It was and, so boom. Crazy. <laughs> and I've had, yeah, I can't even at the top of my head, I can't think of something like that. But I know I've had that happen where literally just things just like out of yeah. the air, just yeah. when you're yeah. so un, you know, you're so not, re you're so not resistant to it or whatever that word is. Yeah, so open to yeah. it, non-resistant. I think yeah. that's. So you're living, you're living more in this flow of life where you believe that things always work out for you. So you don't yeah. have this like angst and you don't right. have the anxiety behind, oh, you know, we should just leave because this movie isn't going to work out. Yeah. For us. Yeah. And it's, it's the like, same with oh, even well, driving, you know, when you're driving yeah. around and, and like if someone cuts you off and, I, and here's a kind of, this was before I was really awake at all. I was living in San Francisco and I used to have road rage. I'm just going to admit it. I was like, I mean, I like if someone would cut me off <laughs> two months ago, no, two weeks ago, I'm working with the road rage net right now. Yeah. <laughs> that, well, the, how funny yeah. that I even mentioned this then, because um, literally like if somebody would cut me off, I would be laying on the horn and flipping them off and, and just really just like crazy. And so what happened was somebody cut me off on the Bay Bridge and and then they got in front of the toll in front of me and then I went behind them and I just was honking and flipping them off and doing all these just horrible things. And meanwhile, we got through the toll and then guess what? He slowed down and came behind me and started following me. He got off on my exit and I swear to God, I thought he was, I was 21 or something at the time. Oh my gosh. I thought he was going to come to my house and rape me or something. Yeah. And so I drove to the police station. That. Oh right. And so, you know what? That shifted me. Talk about, you know, yeah. again, I don't know if that was divine um, yeah. or not, but it really, it totally shifted my mindset about, first of all, why am I so angry? Like the guy, he, maybe he missed his stop or yeah. law, like who knows? I don't know what's going on. And again, that's another great book is um, The Four Agreements, which is don't take anything personally. Um, you know, one of the four agreements is that. And um, 
So now if somebody cuts me off, I just say, God bless you. You know, yeah. I, I just hope you get where you need to go as soon as, you know, as soon as you need to get there. But I, I just, um, that was addressed in that Tosha Silver book. Oh uh, um, yeah. What was the name of that? I, is it living outrageously or outrageous, outrageous living? I think it is Tosha yeah. Silver. I'm going to look it up. Back to Amazing, that is an amazing book. Yeah, listen to it on audiobook. And so she was saying that you know, if you can master your car, then you've really created mastery. Because I, I mean, I didn't have that kind of road rage, but I definitely go, he's so dumb. You know, like I call right. people names, and and I feel the angst of of road rage. You know, just right. I mean, California. There's so many people here, oh, and driving is. I couldn't get over how many people crazy. live there. I was like, <laughs> I've been in a bubble all these years. I'm like, yeah. this is crazy. It's called Outrageous Openness, Letting the go. Divine Take the Lead by Tosha, Tosha. Silver. Oh, Maybe. incredible. I listened to it four Maybe. times. Yeah. Yeah. Good. I need to listen to it again. I listened to it and I just, it it's life changing. So it's yeah. a great, great book. Yeah. So she's got a great thing about road rage and I think she really helped me cure it. I, I'm really feeling, and this was just weeks ago that I've That's been able to not call yeah. people bad names when I'm driving. <laughs> that is great. That is great. Yeah. Well, how about, um, so share, share a bigger manifestation. And then I've got one too, that we can talk about because, and then talk about what you're, again, we talked about a little bit, but the difference between like manifesting a seat in a theater yeah. or, you know, uh, what do I want to call it? Like divine driving where you're not, you know, pissed off at people. Right. Right. Um, Cause those are kind of, those are like, most people can master that or not maybe master it, but at least have the awareness that they could start. <laughs> Jason here. Did you see what Jason said? No. <laughs> oh, hey. hey. He manifested us. <laughs> yes, you did, Jason. Welcome. Oh my God, Jason. We were all three just at a conference, which again, another amazing resource, Kyle yeah. Cease. Kyle Cease, we love. Look him up on YouTube. He's incredible. Yes. He just came out with a book. I hope I screw this up. It's He's amazing. And that's what we're doing today. We're hoping we're going to screw yes. this up. Yeah. Why not? Just see what happens. <laughs> but we love Jason. We had leading edge conversations with Jason. They yes. were so good. We did. Yes, we did. Yes, we did. Yeah, and Kyle kind of kicked us off into this podcast idea. So thank you, Kyle Cease. We love yes, you. Yes, and we love you. We just feel so, and I love that. <laughs> and I love that. And I love that. And we have no so, idea what we're doing. No idea. And we love that. Yeah, we're just we're we're being divinely guided right now. We did not know we were going to talk about road rage. So no, you know, no, this whole thing is unscripted. So we just to let you know, it's super it's fresh. <laughs> And I love that, and I love that. <laughs> as Jason says. Yes. Yeah. So, you know, we, we compartmentalize things in our life where we go, okay, this is a small manifestation. So the, the movie theater seat we could feel like is a small manifestation, even though it is like a miracle that that happened and things opened up for me. Um, you know, we look at other things like mil a million dollars or, you know, Mike and I, at one point in our life, we had, um, we were working with a network marketing company and we had, uh, qualified for this trip to Hawaii and told everyone we were going to Hawaii. Like up until like three weeks before the trip, we had no idea how we were going to get there. At that time in our life, we had gone through bankruptcy. We had no credit cards. You know, we had gone through all that 2008 stuff. And so we didn't know how we were going to get there. It was like $1,200 for the flights, but we knew we were going. I was literally, you know, putting things away. I had my suitcase out. I was telling all my friends I was going felt just completely secure that it was all going to work out. And that's, that's a huge part of manifesting is the knowing, you know, that yeah, faith yeah. forward that you put just that right, faith right. that everything's going to work out for you. Because, and belief, right. Yeah. And just the knowing and the belief. Exactly. Yeah. And it's not, I mean, it's not faking it. It's literally just feeling so secure in the fact that you're meant to do something that your heart desires so much and that you're supported, mm -hmm. right. Divine support. Right. So three weeks before the trip, we got a text message from a friend who was in the same company. And he just said, I want you guys to know I've got your back on the plane tickets. And he didn't know that we hadn't bought the plane tickets yet. So it was kind of amazing that he just reached out to us. He was a wealthy man, wanted to take care of us. And he literally paid for our oh entire God. flights. And then when we got to Hawaii, we had so much support. The CEO gave us a thousand and we didn't have a lot of money. 
you know, we had to pay our babysitter to take care of our kids. So we were kind of like counting our change to see how many meals we could have. Oh, dear. <laughs> it was intense, but we were fine. You know, we and were you living in that. the joy. <laughs> I loved it. It was like we were in Hawaii and nothing mattered. You know, right. there wasn't like, oh, poor us. Right. And people were paying for horseback riding trips and meals. And it wow. was just like every time we turned around, something amazing would happen. And we were just fully supported in that. So I would right. say that in most people's minds, that's a big manifestation. But Absolutely. the reality is they're the same energy. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So Abraham Hicks says, it's as easy to manifest a castle as it is a button. Mm. And the truth is that the castle just seems way bigger to us. And we have a lot more resistance around why the castle can't happen, where a button is very easily found on the floor. So if you have, you know, if this is, if you're new to the manifestation journey, start with something small, start with a right. parking space, you know, yeah. I always yeah. call divine order in on my parking spaces and they show up so quick. Yeah. Yeah. And that's how I got started really on this long journey I've been on is um, my first husband was diagnosed with cancer back in 1997. And I went for an angel reading and got on the, t or sorry, not an angel reading. I went for a massage. Um, <laughs> and uh, and so when I got, when I laid down on the table, I just started crying and, and she said, oh, what's wrong? And, and um, I just said, oh, my husband's just been diagnosed with cancer and I'm just here to just, you know, just take, just, I need a massage. I just need to, you know, get away. And she said, oh, you know, she's massaging me. She's like, you know, so are you talking to your angels about that? And I'm like, oh, my God, stop touching me and let me out of this room. I was like, who's this freak talking about angels? And um, but being the good girl that I was, I just sat there and let her talk mm -hmm. while I was just freaking out of my head. But I'm telling you, that was a divine, that was my first real divine guidance that, um, that I got on this whole journey wow. because she started talking about parking spaces. And again, how silly that that's what I picked up out of this whole conversation <laughs> of the angels was like, oh, if you ask your angels for parking spaces, it really helps you get them. And I'm like, oh my God, like I can never get a good parking spot. So wow. I started doing that. I'd start, like I'd go, we had a little downtown. It was in Ridgefield, Connecticut. At Ridgefield, Connecticut, and I could never get parking. So I would just say, okay, angels, I'm coming into town and I want a place right in front of Ace Hardware or wherever. And sure enough, as I would pull up, it's, you know, somebody was backing out and I was like, oh my gosh, this is working. And so That's it just happened again and again and again. And it helped me uh, start this muscle of trusting and asking and thanking. Yeah. And so to me, if you take nothing else away, if, you, if yeah. you're new on this path, just just try little Start tiny small. things. Yeah, yeah, small. Because again, yeah. we have the resistance to like yeah. to me, even getting a parking spot was a big step in this yeah. path because yeah. I, I could never get them before because I thought, oh, I can never get a parking spot. So guess what? The universe reflected that back to me. Yeah. And I could never get a parking spot. Of course. That was your belief. Exactly. That was my belief. So I just the universe loves to prove us right, right? Yeah, absolutely. So, so that's the biggest thing, you know, is by changing our mindset and changing the way we think about things. Yeah, it's it's then reflected back to us how things work. So let me. I've got a great, um, a, a bigger manifestation story. I've got okay, I've got well. so many, but probably the one that was just most astounding was um, so after my husband died, um, I was home for a few years, but then I thought I want to go back. I was a CPA, and I I thought I want to work at a hedge fund because they pay really good money and, but I only want to work part time. And I was just, I was an hour outside of New York city, but I didn't want to go in the city. I'm like, it's gotta be in Ridgefield. So it's okay. just a five or six miles from my house. I didn't want to commute. Um, they've got to pay me really well. You know, I just, I had this list that I literally wrote down. So Which it's is a good be, idea. Writing a really, yeah. form of focus. So Absolutely. it's a good idea to write things down. Especially for these bigger ones, right? Because yeah. it helps get the resistance out because you're writing it down. You're making it physical on the paper. Yeah. So, yeah. Um, so yeah. So I had to be part-time, great pay, hedge fund, accounting work. Um, and I don't know if I added anything else out. So I sent out my resume. And, um, and nothing happened. And, but again, I released it. I'm like, whatever, if I get a job, great. If not, that's fine too. And I really didn't work hard at it. I mean, I think I sent it to a couple of headhunters no or something resistance. like that. No resistance. no resistance, right? I just let it go. And yep. then out of the blue, I think it must've been six months later. And I was even like, I don't even know what I was thinking I was going to do at that point, but I just 
six months later, I get a call out of the blue and yeah. I swear to God, this woman calls me and she's like, you know, hi, Lisa. I don't even know where I got your resume. Somehow it floated across my desk, <laughs> but I have a, I have a hedge fund job. It's in Ridgefield. It's only part time, but they're paying really well. Wow. And, um, and according to your resume, and again, I did not have that list on my resume. Okay. Right. That wasn't, right. I didn't write that on my resume. You didn't I didn't have to. <laughs> yeah, no, I didn't have to. But I mean, it was, I swear she was reading the list that I had written out earlier about what I wanted. And, you know, sure enough, I went and interviewed and it turns out one of my friends from my church was the, the CFO. So I got the wow. job. It was a no brainer. And, yeah. and it was just, I could not, well, I, I can believe it. But at the time it was, I mean, that's the thing you start to say, I can't believe it when yeah. you just did it like the yeah. seat, you know, in the theater yeah. or the parking exactly. spot. And you just, you have to believe that it's actually. actually and also, working. you know, in that story, it's divine timing. You know, you, it was. you just let it go. And sometimes yes. I think we get ahead of the energy and we want things to manifest, you know, right away. And we don't right. have that patience that the universe needs to like put all the pieces together yeah, so it's exactly. Like, so it's we total, yeah. the energy by wanting it to be in our timing. Right. And that's the, and again, that's all about the surrender part. I mean, cause we can have desires, exactly. but again, universe might just say, well, okay, but not now or not ever or later right. or, you know, so that's where, you know, you can put whatever desire you want out, but um, it, does, yeah, it doesn't. That. And I also like to say, or better, you know, yes. add that onto your, yeah. Yes. I would like to have this, 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 and this, or yes. better, because a lot of times the universe has way better stuff for us in store. Way but they're like, oh, <laughs> if that's all you want, if all you want yes. is a a car, you know, you can get yeah. one that's got a hundred thousand miles on it, or you can get a brand new <laughs> Lexus, you know, convertible, whatever. Yeah, I like to say what's highest and best. You know, like, like what's that. highest and best for us, because sometimes our desires of our heart may not be the best path. So it's right. about creating that from that place of divine intuition and divine guidance so that you're not literally in your own agenda all the time, but you're more tapped into mm -hmm. that. And and that comes from meditation and, and being, yes. being plugged in. I like to call it, you know, plugged in with the divine is taking a practice 10, 20, 30. Lisa and I are doing an hour a day right now. Yep. yep. Still on it. Woo! Yeah. My, my hour today was interesting. It was it was a meditative nap. I like to call yeah. those. <laughs> I like, and again, it's, it's, I love that, right? Because yeah. I love Kyle Cease. The event we were just at yeah. challenged, challenged us to do something every day for a hundred days, and so one of the challenges was a hundred days of meditation for an, an hour. hour, for an hour or more. And so yes. it's been an hour for me. And yeah, and I wake up, it's so fun, funny because I've been waking up at 5 a.m. every morning. And so I do it at that time. And and sometimes, yeah, I think I might fall asleep, but I still, I know I'm there. I'm still, yeah. I'm just in a different vibration. So exactly. Um, so it's, all, it's all good. It's all good. It's all good. So I just wanted to share it. When you were talking about the parking space thing, there's a really great book out um, by Pam Grout called E Squared. Yeah. which is nine simple experiments. So if you're new to this stuff, or even if you're not, it's a super fun book to read. It nine is. simple experiments you can do to prove that the law of attraction works. And I just, I love that book. I love Pam Grau. I manifested $10,000 with that book. So I am a huge wow. advocate. I always share that you should just read that book because it's so good. And then she's got other ones out now, Thank and Grow Rich, which is like just living amazing, in that book. Amazing, amazing. So yeah. good, yeah. Yeah. So she's another um, person that Lisa and I love and love to share her stuff with you guys. Absolutely. Absolutely. Well, great. Yeah. Well, I don't know. Is that, do you have a small manifestation? Did you share a small, small one? one? Well, I was talking about the parking spots. I'm trying to think if they're, um, if, if you have anything else to add, I'll, tr I'll try to keep thinking. Cause again, it happens on a regular basis. Um, well, I was going to say even now, well, so I don't know if this is small or not, but um, I've recently moved to Maui, Hawaii, which I'm super excited right. about. Right. And, uh, ah. and I was a little nervous about where I was going to live because it's hard right now here. And again, I'm thinking of Pam Grout's story yes. that you can either, I mean, people here are talking about the rents are so high, it's really hard to get a place and all that. And I can tap into that and be in that energy and then ex have that as my experience. Yep. Or I can 
change that and have my own experience. And so I was kind of in that first thought process of, oh my God, this is hard. And I had a couple of friends offer me their places, but they were more than I wanted to spend. And so I had talked to my brother and I said, oh my gosh, I don't, you know, it's not happening. I don't know what. And he said, just relax. Just my, my brother is so great. I love him so much and he's super spiritual. And so he gave me the advice. He's just like, just relax. You know, something's going to fall in your lap. It's going to be fine. And I'm like, okay. So again, right in that moment, I took a deep breath and I just, just surrendered. And I'm like, Let you're go. right. You're right. Something is going to happen because um, I've been to Maui for eight weeks before and it just was so magical. So I knew it would happen. We hung up the phone and I swear it was five minutes later <laughs> and I got a text from my, from my other friend who just said, Hey, I just heard you're coming back to Maui. I'm heading home to sell my house on the mainland and I would love for you to stay at my house. And I'm like, Oh my gosh. Crazy. So it literally fell in my lap in five yeah. minutes. And, and again, I don't know if that it feels kind of big to me, but at the same time, it was so easy. As soon as I let go of, I, I felt like I was, Ooh, I got I got you know, like I was wrestling this energy yes. to find the right place and to get the great price and all that stuff. And then just magically, um, you know, I had this, beautiful friend who we've spent the last five days. She's been showing me around and introducing me to more and more friends. And it. so um, it's just been such a beautiful gift for me to, to be here. And I'm literally across the street is the ocean. So I mean, it couldn't have been better. I mean, literally, it's just like, it. this is such a gift. And I'm so I'm so happy to be here. Well, and you bring up such a great point, because that's what we do is we hold on really tight. And we think it's all up to us. Yes. When we can just invite this energy in and let right. go and surrender and allow it to deliver exactly what we want as we write down our list of what we want. Yeah. So it, it's, I think it's super important for people to understand that, you know, we're not doing this alone. There is this right. amazing guidance that we can tap into and yeah. life can unfold magically and, and easily and, and just allow you to, I mean, our, you know, our trip to California, we'll get into that later, but same thing. You know, yeah. these things were just, we were just led through different circumstances to exactly where we live now to, you know, where we landed when we got here. And so I think it's so good to understand that it's not this holding on too tight is what blocks yeah. the energy. It's when you absolutely. let go. That, you it, that's absolutely. And, and I, another book, The Surrender Experiment. Oh, by, I love that. Michael Singer. Um, Michael yeah. Singer. Oh my, oh my goodness another book I just listened to as I drove across the country yes. and it is the most amazing book. And he literally just wanted to go into the woods and meditate. That's all he wanted to do. And yet things just kept unfolding and unfolding and unfolding. And he ended up running a multi-million dollar business. And, and it just amazing. was such a great, a great lesson for all of us to, to just surrender and be open to the universe wants to support us. And like, yeah. like golden said earlier, it's like, we're meant to be happy. We're meant to, have a joyful life. And yes, we, you know, we also have our ups and downs, but that's part of our growth. That's part of our expansion. Yeah. Expansion that the contrast, if we, if we don't have the contrast, we can't, we can't it have the highs. Things really yeah. are. Right. Exactly. We can't have the highs without the lows. So, um, yeah. you know, and the other thing I want to bring up from your experience was that you about not basing your experience on other people's experiences yeah. because People love to commiserate in the misery oh, yeah. and, and what yeah. they've experienced. So when you take someone else's experience and then go, well, that's not going to be my experience because my belief system is this, mm -hmm. then you can shift the energy towards what you want instead of, and we also create from past experiences. So if you want to create right. something new, you have to go into what is it that I want to create? Mm -hmm. And that's what shifts the energy towards delivering what you really do want. Mm -hmm. Yeah, absolutely. Because again, all we have is our past, right? So we immediately fall back into that. And yep. then we just repeat, repeat, repeat. And that's where you got to just shut that down and be in the moment and create yeah. a new, a new as of now, you know, going forward, which belief system and neural yeah. pathways, like we'll get into the brain stuff. That's yeah, really I know. So, and the quantum physics. And oh, the, yeah. you know, all of, I mean, there's just so much, so much to share and so much to talk about. But this was a good kickoff. Yes, it was. It was fabulous. Fabulous. Um, so if you, I think that we should invite people to contact us. Yes. Because if you do have something really interesting that's spiritual or scientific that you want to share and it's part of your business, you know, we're here to 
um, promote you guys and to create these divine dialogues. So if you have something, a subject, um, our email address, do we know our email address? <laughs> <laughs> well, go ahead and give yours yeah. and I'll give mine and then. Well, no, we have the divine guide one. Oh, but, oh, did you that? Oh, out. that's right. Yeah. Right. I created that. I did. We're so far ahead of ourselves. We don't oh even my know. Goodness. I didn't even know. Look at this. It was manifested yes. without me doing anything. I, know. I love so it. Maybe somewhere in here, we could even, um, we can add it in the comments. It so, so it's look divine, in the comments. it's divine guide dialogues at Gmail. And you guys can tell us what you want to do. If you want us to interview you and you can also put in questions, you can email us with questions yes. and we will take your subjects and we'll just, you know, we're going to, we're going to, we're going to ping pong them back and forth and we're going to get really deep and we're going to help you guys to come into a place of um, shifting. I think yeah. that's a really great idea to be able to help people to shift. So, so it's um, divine guide dialogues, right? Yep. Divine guide dialogues. At the dialogues again. I always forget. D <laughs> <laughs> I love it. I we're so real. We don't even know how to spell. It's D I A L O G U E S. Yes. At gmail.com. At gmail. Yeah. Okay, great. So I, and then I eventually that. we're going to, um, we're going to put together a Facebook page, uh, a group page. So then you guys will be able to, um, post on there as well. Right. Yeah. And we'll be, we'll be hosting the future ones on that page along with the podcast, which yes. we're super excited about. But yeah. again, we have no idea how that's going to work, <laughs> but we love that. We're hoping <laughs> to screw it up. We really are. <laughs> we are. We're hoping to screw that up and yeah. take this to a whole new level. But um, it's so, so, so you know, invite your friends. If you have people yeah. that you think will be interested in this, in this information, invite them because we really want to build a community here mm -hmm. where we're all able to promote what we're doing, um, you know, really dig deep into things and to come to a whole new expansive place together where we create consciousness and we create this wake and awakening in the world where yeah. we're not being, you know, subject to the government or subject to um, Monsanto or whatever is mm -hmm. going on out there that we're actually creating our world that we're right. not creating by default anymore. We're creating by our intentions, by our belief systems, and we're waking everybody up. That's our yeah. intention here. And to um, be on this journey with you guys. It's so, yeah. so exciting. It is so ah. exciting. It's so exciting. <laughs> So, so that was our first episode of Woo. Divine Guide Dialogues and the Monday Manifestations. And then we're going to have different themes. And so that's the other exciting part is that going forward, we'll post what our other themes are. So um, we're going to have just, there's such a breadth of- So many things. So many things. <laughs> about. And um, it's just, it's, it's, it's endless, right? Yeah. So I'm going to call you out, Lisa. And okay. What is so in closing, do you want to give them a little, a little angel guidance? Sure. Sure. I feel I like I should be my, awesome. My cards or something. Yeah, you can do it. I mean, whatever you, whatever you're feeling called well, to right now, I think we should just go with it. They're in the other room. So I'm feeling guided to just, I'll just like open my channel here and just do yeah. a little quick uh, download. How about that? Let's do it. Okay, cool. so and I'll do it too. I'm not just going to put you out there. I'll oh, do it. After. No, I love it. I thought you were going to call me out on a word I used <laughs> that was like, yeah. You know, I can't do this. I'm like, wait, what did I say? <laughs> no, I love it. But that's what we love to do is, you know, and that's another thing. It's so fun to have somebody that you're, you know, that you're on the same wavelength with because then yeah. you, can, you can, it's like when you hear something, it's like, oh, did you know you were saying that? Because you don't, we don't know. We're, un we're oh. unconscious as we're talking yeah. half the time. So it's really great yeah. to have somebody be your witness because sometimes that one word that you're using is, um, is just it's shifting the flow blocking the flow blocking the flow so um awesome again like i'm i'm getting out of my vocabulary i can't believe this or it's so <laughs> weird it's so, so weird. weird. It's not weird. It's wonderful. Oh, it's magical. Unbelievable. It's, it's, no it's totally it's, believable. It's, i mean uh, yeah it's yeah. like i want to say um, what's and so instead of it's so unbelievable, it's so believable, it's so believable. I a million dollars or whatever, you know, <laughs> yes, <laughs> instead of unbelievable, exactly. Okay. I love it. I'm just uh okay. stalling here. All right, so I'm just gonna close my eyes, I'm gonna call in all the angels, Ooh. all my guides, <sighs> calling in the the divine beings of love and light. And I call in Archangel Michael, Archangel Raphael, Archangel Haniel, Archangel Ariel. I have bring in all the ascended masters, passed away loved ones, and any and all beings that would like to come through 
and guide us at this point. Yes, and thank you for being here and uh, coming to this time during this beautiful evolution within the Earth sphere, as we will call it. There is much upheaval going on around you as you look out into the uh, the surroundings around you. There is so much negativity that is being brought to you. But this, we want you to understand, is nothing that is your doing. This is an illusion that is being brought to you to keep you from connecting directly to your divine guidance because it wants to keep you in a scared place and not be in your power. So when you turn on the news and see all of these horrific situations going on around you, obviously they are what is being reported. However, you can choose to take this in and to put you in a state of fear and contraction and to keep you in a very small, uh, frankly, sad place, or you can choose to change your viewing habits and look out into the world of nature and to see how beautiful this divine, um, cr this divinely created earth has been presented to you in so many beautiful ways. And you look at the expansion that is all around you and that you are a part of that. You are nothing less than a beautiful tree that is producing leaves and fruits on a daily basis. And this can be you if you choose to do that, or you can also choose to tap into the negativity and to, again, contract and slow down your uh, expansion and your, your power. So the choice is yours, and that is what is so exciting as a human being, is that you've come down from the divine and, and become this beautiful, creative, entity in and of yourself and yet you feel isolated and separated from all of those around you but if you can begin to open your consciousness to realize that you are just one of the entirety that you can create and attract and uh, and just have truly whatever experience you want to have on this earth it will change your mind it will change your life it will expand who you are as a person and who you are within your mind and your soul. And, and it's, it's truly a life to be loved. And the one thing that we find over and over and over from the people that have been on your earth plane and then come back is they realize that they wished they had taken a much bigger leap of mm. faith and allowed themselves to experience a much greater contrast between what they experienced and what could have been experienced. They realized that they were in so much fear that they just kept very small and did not allow themselves to fully expand and to be fully that blooming, that beautiful blooming blossom and that flower that they could have been. Instead, they've just kept themselves very contracted and small. So, so in closing, we just want to ask you to go out and be 100% who you are, speak your truth, ask the universe for anything and everything, and then just to release it and allow the beauty and abundance to just flow to you and, and allow you to experience the expansion that is within each and every one of you and, and within your heart. We love you, we bless you, and just remember that there is so much love for you that you can never do anything wrong. Blessings. Oh, wow. Oh. Oh, oh, oh. That was so good. And go see Wonder Woman. Li I'm literally like the Wonder Woman movie is what this is all about. Wow. It's about focusing on love and compassion to help us to shift out of the world of war and yes. all this crazy fear. Yes. Wow. Oh, that was oh my so gosh. amazing. Ah, I just feel so expansive right now. I feel like my heart is just, ah. Yeah, I could feel that I'm tingling all over. Yeah, me too. So, me too. That was great. So thank you for yes. And I feel like, I really feel like you said it all. I oh feel, yeah, good. I feel like you. I don't. I don't know if there's anything left. It okay. really was just well, so beautiful. That was great. Wonderful. Well, good. Yeah. Well, this is I feel complete. Up. I don't know about everybody else. Yeah. Yeah. I'm so, um, what is, what is, I, w I just wanted to touch on that. Um, what does Kyle say about the opportunity? Do you remember that line that he had? I'm hoping you're going to remember. Oh dear. Of the opportunity. 
um, Remind the fear me and the opportunity. Oh, right. So you when let you go of the allow, fear, right. When you allow the fear to take over, the opportunities dissolve. Yep. And when you fall into the opportunities, the fear dissolves. The fear dissolves, which was so that, so, that popped up for me during your. Uh, I love it. You know. I love, it. and it's so true because the minute we allow the fear to take over, then yeah, it shuts down. It it contracts, and I love that's what that's what they were saying is that yeah. it's all about contraction and expansion. And for the most part, everybody or not everybody, a lot of people are very contracted and it's yeah. just about getting up, going to work, coming home, getting up, going to work, coming home. There's and so just much more than that. There's so, oh. there's so much more than that. And it's about allowing your heart to open up and speaking from your heart and, and dropping into your heart. That's the other thing that Kyle talked a lot about was like, yeah. let's get out of here and just allow us to fall down into our heart and let that be our motive and our, our, you know, what our guides intention. Them. Right. Yeah. 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 Oh my gosh. That was so good. You know, it's like, we're so powerful I know. And, and when we help people to tap into that power. There's just going to be this awakening. That's going to shift the entire world. It is. And all it is. of the contrast that's happening right now is a big part of that. Yes. So when, you know, turn off the freaking news. Like literally, none of it is true anyways. Just turn right. it off. Get out right. of the news and just start creating mm -hmm. your life. People don't know this, but, you know, these little things that we do, the, the interactions at the grocery store and the interactions in our daily lives are more powerful than we could even imagine. When we send out that love and that light, mm -hmm. we are shifting. We're, we're tipping the world into a yep. different vibration. Absolutely. So um, you are powerful no matter what's going on in your little world right now. If you could just know how powerful you are and know that those little interactions, the love you have with your family, the joy you create in your everyday, the, the paintings, the art, the, the, the writings, the poetry, all mm -hmm. that stuff matters. Absolutely. So really tap into those gifts, take chances, take risks. Lisa and I both just like... <laughs> Sold everything we owned and moved to the place that we, our hearts desired. And that's right. We're still here to tell you guys about that's it. That's right. Well, that, I mean, that'll be a whole nother thing. Yeah. I mean, you, you moving survive. to California yeah. and now I've just moved to Maui and, um, wow. And I, I mean, I'm, I'm still scared, but, but hey, I'm, I'm, I'm opening. I'm, I'm, I'm figuring it all out. I've literally been it's here cool. not even it's a week. Able to walk through all that fear with you, yes, you know exactly, exactly. Yeah, I've been here since Wednesday, so um, yeah, it's exciting. So I can't wait. Awesome. Perfect. So, so all right, that, I think uh, I think we're good. Okay. So good. Well, love and light to everyone out there, and uh, peace out. Until next time, peace. Yes. Enjoy. <laughs> Bye. We'll do the the shaka. Yeah. 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 <laughs> All right. Bye-bye. Bye. -bye. bye.